To the Red Chevron Club here in Guelph, Ontario. I'm Jason Hagum. Joined alongside me is Mark Perry. And Mark, we have ourselves another tremendous evening of 365 Pro Wrestling. And when you look at this card, we have some a major announcement tonight from the 365 Pro Wrestling Grand and Global Champion, Easy -E, Eric Kearney. That's right. He's good. He's great. And as of last month, after a bloodbath with Joey Allen, he is the Grand Champion. But what will Easy -E, Eric Kearney have to say? when he enters that ring and holds on to that microphone. Yes, we're all waiting with bated breath of what Eric Kearney has to announce about the status of his championships. When we go inside the squared circle, Mark, we have a very heated tag match that's going to take place here at the Red Chevron Club as tensions continue to rise as Super K and Joey Allen, they will take on the likes of Sammy Sierra and Code Blue. Do the youngsters really have a chance in this one? I mean, you have Joey Allen who is going to be looking for revenge after you know losing his championship. You know that he is going to be very angry. Super K as well in the fold. But the two X factors outside the ring in Tex Lexus and Corey Spade, do they really even have a chance tonight? Well, we're going to find out once that those two those sets of teams get to the ring. It's going to be a great night of action here at the Red Chevron Club. So, folks, stay tuned. Get your favorite beverage and snacks because we got a great night of professional wrestling. Joining me now at this time, draped in 365 gold, this is the 365 Pro Wrestling Grand Champion and Global Champion, Easy e Eric Kearney. And, Eric, it's a lot of weight on your shoulders here. It is. These belts are so heavy but I deserve it. I deserve everything I've gotten in 365 because I've been carrying this company and the crowd knows it there behind me. They cheer for me. Here's the problem. When you got two belts, you got two targets on you. And even for the greatest man alive, two targets is a lot. I'm the belt collector. I got targets on my back all over the place. But tonight, tonight in Guelph, I got a big announcement and I want everybody to be there. I will be in that ring. And I got an announcement about the future of both these titles and me in 365. I'll see you out there. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest for this evening is set for with a 20 minute time limit. Well, hello everyone and welcome inside the Red Chevron Club here in Guelph, Ontario as we are getting set for our opening contest here at 365 Wrestling. It'll be a women's match as Sabrina Kyle will take on Wanda Del Rey. The owner of Off the, Ro the Rope Studio in Kitchener. A lot of experience. Let's defeat on her younger opponents she does and he's going to be looking to make it feeding time here in the ring tonight against some, against Wanda Del Rey. Yeah, very experienced here is Sabrina Kyle. Obviously when you have a school as a background to help train the, the future, you obviously know a few tricks of the trade as we're now set for her opponent Wanda Del Rey. Come 
Wanda Del Rey. A young up and comer here in this business and really getting the entire crowd here at the Red Chevron Club all the way behind her, Mark. What a youngster too, just making Sabrina, making Sabrina Kyle wait. for Del Rey, and she goes, rolls through into a cravat, pinning attempt in another two count. Great start here for Wanda Del Rey, though. Gets cut off here with a boot to the midsection by Kyle. Kyle whips Del Rey in, Del Rey, shoulder tackle. That had no effect there. He's gonna have to do more than that. That's definitely not the strategy. I don't think Wanda Del Rey, she's gotta go back to what she opened the match with, the quickness and speed and agility. Shoulder tackle one more time, doesn't work. She ducks the chop though. And that time a running shoulder tackle from Del Rey brings Sabina Kyle down to the mat. You gotta love the aggressiveness though here from Wanda Del Rey. And she has to. She has to stay on top of Sabrina Kyle or else this is gonna happen right here. You can't take your eye off the ball for one moment against the 18 year veteran. Well, that's exactly what she did as Del Rey though will hit a back elbow. Cowell thought she had the momentum turned in her favor for a split second. But wrestling above her years of experience here is Del Rey, the pinning attempt, and that's a two count one more time. And look, she's gonna get a good body scissors on here and try to take Sabina Cowell over for a pinning attempt again, and then we'll roll her back and try to set this up going back the other way. Two. That's just a good strategy, trying to disorient the veteran here in Kyle. Del Rey, very crafty with those pin attempts. Del Rey is now trying to once again take this match to Sabrina Kyle. Irish Rook is reversed, sitting to the turnbuckle. As Kyle will come with a head of steam and back elbow from Del Rey. And Kyle really giving a lot of openings here for Del Rey. And one more time, foot to the face. What's Del Rey gonna do? Roll through. That's a nice Mexican style arm drag and there's a good arm drag that time from Del Rey. Just going to the basics to try and take down Sabrina Kyle. And a little hesitation there. That ends up costing Wanda Del Rey rake of the hair and throws Del Rey to the mat. Does Sabrina Kyle. Had the boot to the face in the corner and this goes back to that. You can't leave any openings against someone with 18 years of experience. That's exactly what Del Rey did and she paid the price. And she just zones in on her opponent. When Sabrina Kyle has the advantage, she's able to zone in. Oh, what a knife edge chop there from Kyle. And slowly just tries to take the breath out of you. Oh, and just nasty, just grinding Del Rey's face up against the top rope. Those are cables, folks. That is nothing pretty. Be having your face grind up against and then boot to the midsection and putting the foot right on the throat in the corner is Kyle on Del Rey. 
as mentioned, she just feeds off younger talent. So all she sees in Wanda Del Rey is prey. Del Rey, and she's taken over with a nice hip toss from Sabina Kyle. Two, and that's all she's going to get as Del Rey gets the shoulder up and quick pinning attempt one more time. And Del Rey will once again get the shoulder up. But now, Kyle starting to use that, that experience and that size advantage right now up against Del Rey. Sabrina Kyle describing herself as a submission specialist. So what she is doing here right now is just trying to wound Wanda Del Rey piece by piece by piece and try to set up a submission hold. As well, just grinding down Wanda Del Rey and, and really putting that pressure on and making her think about it a lot. As we saw off the top of this match, Del Rey's success was being quick, agile, using her speed to her advantage, but you can't do that when you're getting grind down to the mat. But here's Del Rey, she'll pop up. Elbows to the midsection, but those had no effect as Kyle throws Del Rey back to the canvas. As Kyle kind of admonishes her handiwork. And Sabrina Kyle knows, you know, you just talked about it, Jason, where Wanda Del Rey, her advantage is being able to use her speed. Sabrina Kyle is just keeping her down and just staying on the attack. That she is through Del Rey into the corner. Now an Irish rip on the opposite side. Del Rey though floats over, float over her roll up attempt. And no, splash down. One, two, and no. Slight hesitation there in the pinning attempt. And then just putting the knee right on the throat of Del Rey does Kyle. Absolute power. Sabrina Kyle again, near 20 years of experience in professional wrestling. Trained by Ernie Moore and Reggie Marley. Good snap suplex that time from Kyle. She floats over to the pinning attempt and it's just a count of two. Gotta give Del Rey credit. She's been pounded on, and that's a big leg drop from Kyle, too, and no. Gotta give Del Rey credit. She's been pounded on the last five to ten minutes, so from the veteran here in Kyle, but she's still got the fighting spirit to find ways to kick out. As Kyle puts Del Rey up against the corner, up against the ropes as well, but Del Rey trying to fight back, but just a big clubbing blow right to Del Rey's back. And you can see how much pain and suffering Wanda Del Rey is in right now as Sabrina Kyle continuing to go on the attack, attacking her prey, just feeding, feeding off of Wanda Del Rey. Oh, right in your living room right there, folks. Great shot by her Rogers TV crew. You can see the agony that Wanda Del Rey is in. She's gonna have to find a way to Show some of that resilience. Good forearm shot that time from Kyle. And a good kick to the midsection as well. That martial arts style kick. Now Del Rey reverses. Del Rey floats in. Back elbow from Del Rey. Del Rey feeling it like a bulldog. And oh, it's counter. Good patience there from Kyle. As she timed that perfectly and threw Del Rey right off as she was going for the Bulldog. You're gonna have to be smarter than that one to Del Rey. Sabrina Kyle is not going to fall for your tricks. Oh, look at this, it's time to be humbled for Del Rey as Sabrina Kyle's got the camel clutch on. A move that's won many championships in the realm of professional wrestling. And there's insult to the injury, rake of the eyes from Kyle, now biting. Del Rey is Kyle. Like I said, she feeds off of younger talent. You just see it right in her face. She is enjoying this right now. And just continuing to stretch Del Rey is Kyle. But the crowd here at the Red Chevron trying to will Wanda Del Rey back in. The Wanda chance are out. There's a good jump right on the lower back, that lower lumbar area. It's just adding to the punishment, but once again, Del Rey's got something left to kick out. How much energy does Wanda Del Rey have left after Sabrina Kyle just continues to pour on the punishment? It's been, it's been a long, grueling matchup here for Del Rey. She's really been had it put on here by Kyle, but here's a chance, reverse to the side rush and leg sweep. That's the break Del Rey needs. 
And Del Rey pops up. Trying to get the crowd behind her to will her on. Float over. And you get it this time. One, two, and no. Just a two count. Kyle somehow able to kick out at the last second. Roll up from the back there. And once again, Kyle kicks out. Almost like a crucifix. Kyle, head of steam. Floats through. Hammer lock here from Del Rey. Del Rey, the Lariat attempt, knocking down Kyle. One, two, and no! Kyle gets the shoulder up in the last second. Credit Del Rey, she is staying in this matchup. Senton, though, doesn't find anyone. Nobody was in the pool that time for Wanda Del Rey. Look out, sleeper hole from Kyle. Sabrina Ta Kyle trying to send Wanda Del Rey down to the Motel 6. We'll leave the light on for her. But this just goes once again to the style of matchup that Kyle's been put on grueling. And now with the sleeper, does Del Rey have enough to get out of this? Del Rey, she'll push off, tries to roll through. And it's a three count. That was super wide. There from Wanda Del Rey kicked off. As Kyle still has the sleeper hold on, but had her shoulders counted for the three. And Sabrina Kyle is not happy whatsoever. I think Kyle may have gotten her shoulder up. Let's take a look at it on the replay. Here's the sleeper hold in as Del Rey pushes off. One, two, and three. Tough to tell from that angle on the shoulders. Let's get the closer look. Two and three. The shoulders are down, and Wanda Del Rey picks up the biggest victory of her young career. What a matchup to start things off. Wanda Del Rey, give it to her, just continuing to stay in it after the punishment delivered from Sabrina Kyle, and she's able to get the victory. And I don't think this is the last we've seen of Wanda Del Rey against Sabrina Kyle. You know that Sabrina Kyle is going to want to return that for that. She may, but those contracts still have to be signed. But for now, Wanda Del Rey picks up a huge victory over the veteran in Sabrina Kyle. We'll take a quick break and back with more 365 Pro Wrestling action here on Rogers TV. Joining me now at this time, counting his $100 bills, Tex Lexus and Tex. Your client is in a big matchup here tonight. Now here, Mike, take $300, get the hell out of here. Lenny Lilac, I know you're Chico. I know it's you under that mask, I don't care. I know your body type, I managed you for a long time. And if you wanna come and mess with me, you're messing with the rest of my army, Joey Allen, Super K, Corey Spade, we're going to take care of our Chico problem. If it's not tonight, it's going to be at the next show. So you better not show up here because Chico is going to be gonzo. Three Six Five Wrestling. Daddy Davis is here, and Daddy Davis is leaving with some gold. Mama, you let those kids stay up late because Daddy is bringing home the championship. Well, here comes the double champion, the not only global champion but the grand champion here at Three Six Five Pro Wrestling. Easy E. Eric Kearney and Mark. We've been told he's got a big announcement set for not only the status of these titles, but from him in this promotion. You know, he won that grand championship in a brutal matchup against Joey Allen. We saw everything except for the kitchen sink being thrown in that match. They went for almost an hour. There were tables. But Easy e Eric Kearney was able to collect 
the grand championship to add it to his collection. And that's right, Jason, we will see what happens. A big announcement coming here. Let's listen in. What's up, Guelph? Okay, okay, okay. I got two belts. I beat the hell out of Joey Allen last time we were here. Here's the problem. I've been told by uh, 365 management that I'm not allowed to have two belts. So I'm supposed to be... I don't understand that, Jason. Give the man his belts. The crowd seems to think he should have more gold around his waist. I like it. I'll, I'll go to BC and win their belt, and I'll come back. Yeah, they, uh, they want me to relinquish this grand championship right here. Oh, that's a major development. relinquish the grand championship but he's gonna be defiant as he usually is will keep that belt around his weight but look who it is it's the great one john atlas john atlas a veteran in ontario independent wrestling a four-time all canadian a great cup and vanier cup champion too a lot of accolades for one John Atlas, and I'm sure he'd like to add one or both of those championships being carried around by Easy E. Eric Kearney to his collection. Well, when you're in a champion at all the levels that John Atlas has been, the only thing missing for him right now in the realm of professional wrestling is some gold, as you mentioned, Mark. A Vanier Cup champion, a Grey Cup champion. He's dominating football in all of Canada, and now he's trying to do the same here in professional wrestling. But that's easier said than done with the man that's standing across from him that's got two sets of gold around his waist. Easy Eric Carradine in the ring with him. And we saw the punishment that Kearney took last month against Joey Allen. Is John Atlas able to handle that kind of punishment for gold? Got something to say? Here's your price, Johnny Boy. It's about time because you've been ducking me for some time, Easy. I had to show up to apparently your house. Huh? with an opportunity of a lifetime. You get to relinquish the grand championship right there, big guy. That's the grand? The global, the global championship. Listen here, four eyes. I'll hit you so hard, Marty McFly couldn't bring you back. That's right, show some respect for the veteran. Why don't you do yourself a favor and just hand me over that championship? Hand it over so that I don't have to beat your ass in front of all these people. So language being shown here, Jason. Where have we shown up? Well, the language may be one thing, but it looks like we may be having a, a challenge being put out here by I the mean, great one. you heard him. You should probably listen. You know what, John? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since you want to come in here and, and place yourself in 365, place yourself in my house, why don't you get out of my ring, and I'll see you tonight in the main event for the Global Championship. Oh, there we have it. Easy Eric 
Right Kenny now, defends the global championship time. against John Atlas. Get a out. big I'll opportunity for Easy E. Big mistake. Big mistake. According to John Atlas. There aren't going to be any flowers in this date, only violence. When Eazy E and John Atlas go one on one for the 365 Pro Wrestling Global Championship. And I don't know how much of a chance Eazy E, Eric Carity is going to have because John Atlas looks determined to add to his collection. We're not oh, done here. Atlas We're not done here. But Get out. Gonna still see, speak. here's the thing. I might see you tonight in the main, but since I'm defiant and I'm not going to listen to 365 management, tonight this belt was supposed to be decided between Daddy Davis and Jeff Black after I relinquished it. So uh, instead, I'm going to put myself in that match. We're going to make it a little triple threat elimination. Daddy Davis, Jeff Black. is no more. I think a lot of people are too, Mark, but now we gotta move on. Oh, look out, everyone. Are Black, you kidding me? Jeff Black, is, he's gone rogue here. He's take, doing his best Duke the Dumpster Trozy tribute. It's time to take out the trash as Jeff Black, and will he not only do that in the process, but come away with gold at the end of it. Manda Cat in the corner, the ring announcer. I don't know what she she's she's thinking there. 
Looks absolutely disgusted by Jeff Black pulling out that garbage, the garbage picker himself. And then he goes and put his hands around her. Wash your hands, Jeff Black. Fighting out of Daddy's house, weighing 223 pounds. Get some hand sanitizer in there. Daddy Davis! And their opponent, fighting out of Kitchener, Ontario, weighing 280 pounds, trash can like a trophy is Jeff Black. Is that the only trophy he's going to walk away with here tonight? Oh, I thought that trash can Jeff was going to get Black. launched, but instead of Jeff Black trying to go to work on himself. Already stumbling. <laughs> what in mankind is Jeff Black doing here? That's what makes him so interesting. Good? He's just such a wild card in this match. And he's willing to inflict that kind of punishment on him before the bell. What's he going to do to not only easy Eric Herndy, but to Daddy Davis? This is a very unique way to stretch out and warm up for a matchup. And fighting out oh, of Black. St. Catharines, Ontario. On weighing 200 in the front row. And the greatest man alive, Easy E. Eric Kearney. And there is the current reigning and now defending 365 Grand Champion Easy E. Eric Kearney. His belt was just supposed to be relinquished for Daddy Davis and Jeff Black to wrestle over. Instead, it's now an elimination triple threat match. Kearney not listening to management whatsoever. Usually if you don't listen to management, you get written up. I don't think Kearney would even care if he got written up. He's that kind of personality. It goes by his own way, his own code, but the bell has rung. We are underway here with this impromptu triple threat elimination match for the 365 Grand Championship. Crowd right now. If this match was decided by a voting poll, it looks like Daddy Davis may get the, the nod, but got to mix it up inside that squared circle. I wouldn't listen to these hooligans in Guelph. Well, once again, Black going back. Don't even think back. they know math in this place. Black going back to that trash can. Black comes a man possessed here about this trash can. He's trying to bring this trash can back into the ring. He's treating it right now like a Stanley Cup. That's right, Jeff Black. Pour it all over those fans. I don't think Jeff Black would do that. I think he's got enough decorum here, but he's now got a tray. And he's going to throw that in. There's some refreshments in there as well. What's the old saying? Reduce, reuse, recycle? And Mark, it's like they heard you here at the Red Chevron. Also, Daddy Davis and Eric Kearney treating that Bud Light, putting it exactly where it should be the whole time. In the trash. Well, the recycle bin has been sent away. And still waiting, actually, these men to, to get underway here with this elimination triple threat for the 365 Grand Championship. I feel like Jeff Black may have had a couple of those cans the way he's been walking around here tonight. The fans are ready for this match to get underway. The fans are choosing violence here. I think it's the first smart thing these fans have said tonight. These types of matches are 
are very tough because you always got to have to look over your shoulders just when you think you got things in control your an extra opponent is there uh, keep in mind jason this is a this is an elimination matchup so if you have one opponent getting taken out as long as your shoulders aren't the ones on the mat I'd say let it happen. And as well, you wonder, because of that elimination factor, does Daddy Davis and, say, Jeff Black, do they work together, form an impromptu alliance to try to get rid of Easy Eric Kearney, as they were supposed to have a match for this title anyway. So do they try to find a way to get to that match, or will another alliance form, as, the, as they tend to do in these style matchups? Look at that. That is disgusting. Where is that hand sanitizer? I called for it earlier. Triple test of strength. And Daddy Davis, he'll break that up. Oh, now we're doing the electric slide. Impromptu dance session. And right hands from Black and Kearney. And Davis tries to roll up here to get rid of the champion Kearney. No. Two count now to Black, and it's a two count again. Smart strategy there from Davis. Nice arm drag. A second one here for Black. Drop kick to Kearney. Drop kick to Black. And Daddy Davis is in complete control. It's time for an airplane spin. Kearney has been cleared for takeoff, and the feet hit Black in the face. He's now wiped out forearm smash from Daddy Davis. But Daddy Davis got a little ahead of himself, though. Does a good job to stay on the apron, but good forearm smash from Kearney. Springboard drop kick, and Daddy, Daddy Davis is on the floor. Who's your daddy? He's on the floor. As we take a look at the replay, but a nice Northern Light suplex there from Roughhouse Jeff Black. As we take a look at the replay here as Davis gets sent to the apron, eats a forearm smash before the springboard comes on in, and that sends Davis to the floor. Now back to the live action. That was beautifully executed by Eric Kearney. Kearney trying to Irish whip Jeff Black in, but there's just too much weight in that corner. Black, he reverses the Irish whip. Kearney sent in, Kearney up, and back Bobby drop from Black. That'll do a number on the lower lumbar of Kearney and a slingshot into Dad Daddy Davis. Black, he's in control. Cutter! Cutter from Black on Kearney! But Black didn't follow up there, Mark. No, he did. That is a big mistake by Jeff Black. Should have went for the cover there. Avalanche in the corner from Black. And this time to Kearney. One more for Daddy Davis. Bulldog clothesline combo from Roughhouse Jeff Black. He may be an interesting person. Wait a second, two, and no. Getting the shoulder up is Kearney. We talked about it before that, yes, Roughhouse Jeff Black, he may be an interesting personality, but the man can wrestle. He really can, and he uses that size to his advantage. Calling for a DDT, and it's now a DDT stutter combo from Roughhouse Jeff Black. One, two, and no! Once again, somehow, Easy e Eric Kearney gets the shoulder up, showing why he is the grand champion of 365 Pro Wrestling. You know, this is a good strategy by Jeff Black, concentrating on both opponents at once. But the, the, the problem is, you're only putting 50% of your power into each one. You might need to put 100% of power into one person to really take them out. Well, super kick sent Black down, but here is Daddy Davis. And he goes with a gut buster, throws it on to Black, and he eliminates Jeff Black. What did I just say, Jason? Jeff Black put too much into trying to take down both of his opponents at the same time. Took his eye off the ball, and, and now he's heading to the showers without and gold. The first elimination. Good wise strategy Jeff there, and just Black. threw Kearney on for a splash, and then Daddy Davis reaps the benefits. He eliminates Roughhouse Jeff Black.
and a triple threat elimination match. That definitely suits a thinking man style wrestler like Daddy Davis, and he's trying to put the finishing touches in on Kearney. Kearney, though, reverses, ducks the forearm shot, takedown. Oh, are we gonna see it here? Are we gonna see it spinning toe but inside cradle from Kearney? One, two, and no. Daddy Davis kicks out at the last second, fakes the super kick, shot to the midsection. Kearney off the rope, Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard, one, two, and no. Daddy Davis somehow able to kick out from that Shining Wizard to the back of his skull. Daddy Davis swimming in the kiddie pool here now, and Easy e Eric Kearney wants to put him away. Kearney can sense it right now. He feels like he's got the finishing touches here for Daddy Davis. Go behind, German suplex from Kearney. And he's still got those fingers locked. Looking to take Daddy Davis for a second one and does. Will we see the hat trick from Kearney? No, Kearney decides to switch things up, goes up, nope, stomp of the foot. And it's gonna be a fisherman suplex here from Daddy Davis, but Kearney kicks out. Great action here, Daddy Davis once again, and it's a gut cluster from Daddy Davis. One, two, and no, Kearney kicks out once again. Daddy Davis is calling for the airplane spin. We saw it earlier in this match, but can he hit it here on Kearney to pick up the grand championship? Daddy Davis sends Kearney in off the ropes. Picked up, and it's a stun gun! Stun gun from Danny, Daddy Davis! And he's got Kearney on the shoulders, and look, like this we're is how we beat John off. Atlas, Jason. We're all cleared for takeoff. The airplane spin is on. Look at those rotations. The equilibrium of Kearney is out. And oh, he's looking there for a Uranagi, but Kearney's gonna fight out with those back elbows. Kearney ties up, and it's a Falcon Arrow from Kearney to Daddy Davis, too, and no, no, Daddy Davis got the shoulder up. Two and a half count. The greatest man alive, that close from walking away, holding on to his championship. But showing that resilience, but it's time to put this one away, says Kearney, as he takes the elbow pad off. Call for the rolling elbow. He's got the waist lock on. Reverse, there's the rolling elbow, misses. And Daddy Davis going for a Uranagi. No, nice counter by Kearney to roll through. Go behind one more time. There's the roaring elbow. Roaring elbow from Kearney. Kearney now picks up Daddy Davis. DVD, Death Valley driver, two. authority and not relinquishing the belt and he denies Daddy Davis and Roughhouse Jeff Black on their chance to pick up that grand championship. There's a reason why he is holding on to that belt and holding on to two belts. Easy E. Eric Kearney withstands the punishment. But speaking of punishment, he took a lot here in this matchup. Jason, how much energy is he going to have left to defend the Global Championship against John Atlas tonight? Well, he's got a little bit of time. He can now recuperate, get some water in him, sit back and relax. But he's now going to have to try to beat three men tonight. He's beaten two. He's going to have to beat one more to defend his Global Championship. But that is easier said than done with the greatest man, the great one, John Atlas, as his opponent. And now he's standing. Right in front, some sportsmanship being shown there. You love to see that. The father of the year. And that's what this is all about. That was a great back and forth conclusion there to this elimination triple threat match. But Easy e Eric Kearney showed he was just too much for Daddy Davis and Roughhouse Jeff Black. We'll take a break and be back with more 365 Pro Wrestling action here on Rogers TV. Joining me now, Tyler Hill. And Tyler, tonight you go against Corey Stone. And it seems you're getting ready here. Just what, uh, what can we expect here tonight? 
Corey Stone said it himself. I am 2-0 in other promotions. Now I debut here in the Red Chevron in Guelph. And I am looking for nothing more than to beat Corey Stone all over this venue and give all the fans that paid a ticket here a front row show. They say you only get one chance to make a first impression. And this may be the first time you're seeing Corey Stone at 365 Pro Wrestling, but Tyler Hill, this is not the first time you and I have faced each other in the ring. On two separate occasions, we've met in the squared circle, and on two separate occasions, you were victorious. But revenge is a dish best served cold, and no colder than you're going to receive tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. to 365 Pro Wrestling here on Rogers TV as we're set for our next matchup as Corey Stone makes his way to the squared circle. Very stoic, very creepy too. Just look at his face, Jason. Yeah, this is an imposing figure. He's a very tall man in that 6'5 to 6'7 range. He's got a lot of size, a lot of mass, and as he mentioned, uh, he does give uh, everyone here at the, at the Red Shower a little bit of the willies. Here he plays chess. He, beat, he can beat his opponent in five moves or less, guaranteed, Jason. Well, will his opponent, Tyler Hill, be beaten in five moves or less, or will he say checkmate to Corey Stone? So bright as a dawn brings a brand new day. Oh, hey, with a lot of personality, a lot of fire, and a lot of talent as well as it's not the first time that Tyler Hill's seen Corey Stone inside the squared circle, outside the 365 ring, of course, first time they'll meet here. But Tyler Hill has had some victories in the past over Corey Stone, and he'd love to keep that trend going here as these two men meet for the first time inside 365 Pro Wrestling. They have competed twice, one-on-one -on -one in other promotions, Jason. The count, 2-0 and oh. so far as Tyler Hill enters the ring. The eight-year deathmatch veteran decided to retire from deathmatches and come into these one-on-one, -on -one, no weapons, but still no mercy being shown. But as speaking of no mercy, just look at the scowl from Corey Stone. He has not changed his expression one bit. He is locked in for this Introducing one. first, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing 235 pounds, Corey Stone! And his opponent, fighting out of the Badlands, 205 pounds, the Canadian bad boy, Tyler Hill! Well, 
as you mentioned before, Mark, just looking at Corey Stone, he hasn't moved up until just now. He's been stoic for the last five minutes. Just la eyes laser focused in that corner, whether Tyler Hill was in there or not. Just look at those eyes. Well, the eyes with the window to the soul. And, he, and I don't know if he has one. I don't think so either. But in this profession, it's good not to have a soul because you're not going to feel that guilt when you're taking down your opponent in five moves or less. Well, the bell has sounded. We are underway with this contest. And Hill wisely being a little cautious of... Corey Stone in that corner. And then Corey Stone just rises up like, like a zombie almost. And just a good job here from Corey Stone wearing those gloves. You don't want to get your hands dirty when you're delivering this pain. Whoa. No, I'm good on Stone. These fans have been melting off at Corey Stone since the moment he came into this building. Good on him for standing up for himself. Stone. I don't know if that's a great strategy. Obviously, tempers do flare, but he's going up against an opponent who's beat him not once, but twice, of course, outside of 365. Definitely want to have your uh, eyes and mind focused here on Tyler Hill, but finally go behind here from Stone. See what these men can do. As you mentioned before, Mark, Tyler Hill, a deathmatch veteran, so he's been in many awards and now decides to put the weapons aside and mix it up in the squared circle with just the use of his fists and ability. Well, he's not going to be able to bring barbed wire. He's not going to be able to bring thumbtacks. Oh. Look at that. Nice go behind cravat or cr cross up with the legs and then just stretching them out there. You know what? That's, that's just what courteous Stone? from Corey Stone. That is just free dental work right there. You got to check for molars. You got to check for fillings. You want to make sure you're not getting any cavities. Well, I don't know if Hill needed the dental exam, but he got one. I don't know if that was covered under his plan or not. Nonetheless, the involuntary dental work is behind us. And, and we get free health. We get free health care here, Jason. Good work there from Hill. Fake the collar and elbow tie up and had a boot to the midsection, but there's Stone showing the powers. He gets up from his knees and drives Hill up into the corner. Right hand misses, though. Nice knife edge chop, but that had no effect on Stone. Double chops. Chop again. This time they're starting to have the effect. Stone feeling it. Stone set face first and then the turnbuckle. Look at that chest already, Jason. Three chops. Make it four. Those are some devastating knife edge chops from Tyler Hill. And that's what you got to do. You got to take it to the bigger man that Corey Stone is to Tyler Hill. Fans calling for the beaver slap. Well, that distraction distracted. So Stone to get in revenge, but only for a split second. Back elbow from Hill sends Stone See, outside don't, the ring. Don't listen to these fans. You'll end up getting distracted. And a tope suicida from Hill on the Stone. Tyler Hill showing the acrobats and that Lucha Libre style with a beautiful tope suicida. Corey Stone is in a daze on the ground. Yeah, Corey Stone right now, he's in a, in a world of hurt as Tyler Hill just launched himself at Stone and it's, they're right. We said this wasn't a death again, match. Once again, using the weapons, going back to his roots here is Tyler Hill. And Stone went face first into that trash can. Get the official in there to break things up. Not allowed to use weapons. First goes Stone in the ring apron. And Tyler Hill has been in complete control, really implementing his style. Oh, but 
Frustration shows a shirt got thrown into Hill's face, but had no effect, and Hill fights back. We should mention here that it's a 20 count here at 365 Pro Wrestling. So Tyler Hill can do as much damage as he wants outside the ring here. He's got double the time than in other promotions to just deal the punishment. And just clubbering into that chest is Tyler Hill as Corey Stone's chest went from white to beat red in a matter of minutes. Hill continues to just pour the pressure on here on Corey Stone. Sliding in, but oh, Stone caught him and wipes out Tyler Hill. Maybe got a little bit too careless that time, did Tyler Hill. The stoic assassin, Corey Stone. Oh, look at these stomps here from Stone on Hill on the floor. Those were with authority. I think Tyler Hill just made Corey Stone angry. You won't like it when Corey Stone is angry. Oh, was, there's some knife edge chop that time from Stone onto Hill. And it took four or five from Hill to lay an effect on Stone. Just one big chop from Stone puts Hill on the floor and then Hill gets set face first in the ring post. This is an imposing figure who's now angry. So that's a double whammy right now for Tyler Hill. Like I said, you won't like Corey Stone when he's angry and he is on the attack. Locked in and just choosing violence. And once again, he'll ram Hill in to the ring post just on the opposite side as Hill gets a great seat in the front row. Did you pay for those seats? I don't think you'll like this view though as a double ax handle from the ring apron careens right into Tyler Hill. So Hill gets set back in by Stone. As Hill, a lot of cobwebs up inside that noggin of his. Nice knee being laid there by Stone. Stone shoots the half just to count a one though. Especially with someone that's had the death match experience, can take a lot more than that to put away Tyler Hill. It really is, but Corey Stone just continuing to deal the punishment here. Nice leg drop that time from Corey Stone, and you saw it right in your living room, thanks to our great Rogers TV crew. A little nonchalant cover here from Stone, but it gets a two count. Hill able to kick out. As Stone continues to pour it on, and chokehold being put on here on Hill in the corner. He's got a count to five to breaks and breaks on four. Does Stone. And just breaking the face of Tyler Hill up against that top ring rope. Talk about rope burn. Say that again. And those ropes, they hurt. And Stone showing he's got the ability to use the ring as a weapon. And now he's put Tyler Hill in a tree of woe. And he gets stomps on in. Does Stone. This could be the coup de grace. Hesitation drop kick from Stone. Beautiful job by Stone to show the ability to pause in midair and in May, but he just won't put away Tyler Hill. How much does Tyler Hill have left? Corey Stone has been dealing a lot of punishment here. Let's look at this on the replay. Just there's that. Great agility for a man of stone size to land that hesitation drop kick and just couldn't put Hill away. And that's that stoic mentality. Just wait for it, wait for it, boom. And that's what Stone's doing right now. He's waiting on the second turnbuckle on the inside. Went for a drop kick again, but Hill was wise to it that time and got out of the way. Hill, sent on lands. Hill, one, two, and no. Stone kicks out. we've had so far here tonight. We just saw EZ Eric Kearney retain the 365 Grand Championship in an elimination triple threat match. He was supposed to relinquish the title and now Corey Stone and Tyler Hill just going to war on each other. 
two men really just trying to make a statement here for themselves in this promotion of 365 Pro Wrestling. Oh, these fans know how to count. And he lands those 10 shots on the second turnbuckle on the inside, trying to picture perfect frame this one up is Hill. A lot of strength for the Michinoku driver from Hill. One, two, and no. Stone kicks out a two and a half count there for Tyler Hill, and Hill can't believe it. That was, that was very impressive for the strength to get the big man up and hit a Michinoku driver on. Just holding on to it. With the delivery and again just continuing to go on the attack. Oh, what wait a, a second! What a boot from Stone to and gets the foot or the hand, I should say, on the rope. Does Tyler Hill? What explosion there from Corey Stone for that big boot! I didn't see no boot, Jason. I think Corey Stone may have gotten screwed there. Corey Stone shows that quick explosiveness and nearly puts Hill away. Hill had good ring generalship, knew where he was. And now Hill in a world of trouble. Belly to back suplex. Stone, one, two, and still can't put Hill away. These hills, it's been a tough hill to climb here for Corey Stone. Like a good roller coaster ride, Corey Stone had Tyler Hill just waiting for the drop to the mat. And, well, they, there's no padding underneath that mat. It's only plywood and chaos. That's a good seven foot fall as well with the size that Stone does have. But here's an Irish rip with authority. Tyler Hill went back first into those turnbuckles, nearly took the ring down. My goodness, what power, what strength this Corey Stone has. Look how creepy this is. Yeah, Stone just getting right into his face. And adds insult to injury with the taunting. Stone really trying to make a statement here. Talking that trash in an open hand slap there on the face of Tyler Hill. But that seems to have awoken Tyler Hill. Nice forearm shot from Stone, but that has no effect on Tyler Hill. It's almost egging Hill on. Another big forearm shot. Hill seems to like it. Hill likes the pain mark. That's that death match mentality coming into this match, Jason. Right hand misses. And now Hill's starting to flip flop. Will he fly? Flies with the right hand that time. That puts Stone on the mat. Right hand from Hill. Hill again, clothesline, takes down Stone. Hill feeling it, he's in his groove right now. Hill ducks the right hand shot, nice! Put down from Hill, two and no! Stone able to kick out. But Hill really putting a nice flurry together. And straight to that deathmatch mentality. Every deathmatch veteran knows you're gonna have to be willing to take the pain in order to get the victory when you deliver your own set of pain. And he's been taking a lot of punishment here, but he has still got the upper hand. What's Hill gonna do here? Springboard, back off, but Stone was aware of it. Stone catches! Inverted face buster from Corey Stone. Corey Stone gets the pin two, and no, no! Hill kicks out. That was the closest near fall we've had, and what a back and forth contest. They get two and seven eights. Well, you buy your ticket to a 356 Pro Wrestling show, you get your money's worth. So we take a look at that near fall. But first, what a delivery from Corey Stone, and just out of instinct, rolls over. But unable to get the victory. That was good presence of mind there from Stone to shoot that cover. But Hill just had enough wherewithal to survive. Stone goes in for the big boot again, this time misses. Here's Hill, big lariat from Hill. That puts Stone down. Stone may be Stone. But you can just see how much this is taken out of Tyler Hill. He can't follow up for a pinning attempt like we saw Stone moments ago due to Hill. Big 
big mistake if you're Tyler Hill. You need to use your instincts, deliver the punishment, and set yourself into a position where you can get those quick pinfalls. Both men trying to fight up and beat this standing count of 10. Hill gets up first. Hill charges, eats a back elbow from Stone. Stone charges, but eats a foot from Hill. Hill, clothesline. That just puts some pain up against Stone against the ropes. Stone charges in, tried the knee. Exploder suplex from Hill. Great presence of mind from Hill. Anticipated that counter and beat Stone in his own game. As Hill, he's stalking his prey here. He's setting something up. He wants to finish this off. Big back elbow in the corner. Hill, clothesline, takes down Stone. Two, and no. Stone somehow able to kick out. And you can see the face there of Tyler Hill in disbelief. He is saying, what more do I have to do to this man? I think he's gonna wonder what what weapon could I have if this is a death match that maybe put this one away? But think, this is not. I think he needs a kitchen sink to take down Corey Stone here with the way he's been going. A roundhouse kick that time from Stone. Stone showing some great athleticism. Two and no! Another very close near fall that somehow Hill continues to find a way to get the shoulder up. And Corey Stone's asking himself the very same question. These two combatants, are putting it all on the line here tonight. This is one heck of a match. And Stone, he's not happy with the official. He felt that should have been it. That should have been the three count that finally put Tyler Hill away. I mean, now that you mention it, Jason, that was a slow two count. Well, Hill just eggs Stone on. He went for the roundhouse again. It's blocked. Ankle lock! Ankle lock from Stone! Or excuse me, from Hill! Can Hill get Stone to tap? Stone stretching for that bottom rope. And the size discrepancy really works out here for Stone. He's able to hit the bottom rope and get the rope break. But he'll go back to it. Hill goes back to the ankle lock, but he's got Stone in the center of the ring. You can see the anguish right now on Corey Stone's face. This is one of the most devastating moves in the history of pro wrestling. He's got that locked in deep. Wait a minute. Nice roll through from Stone. Wait a minute. One, two, and Hill was able to kick out. Boot to the midsection from Hill. Hill says this is it. Hill, pick up. Pile driver, no. As Stone counters, and they roll through. Roll through. Stone this time will put the pinning attempt on two and three. Stone gets him. Corey Stone in a mad scramble gets the pinfall. He rolls up Tyler Hill and finally has the victory he's desperately wanted under his belt. And you can look at the expression on his face and that from Corey Stone, ladies and gentlemen, is what you do. He's on the board against Tyler Hill, just using his wit, his determination keeps his shoulders off the mat and is able to get the roll through and the victory. As we take a look at here at the final moments of this match, Hill went for the pile driver, but they just rolled through. And oh, there you see how he got it. Stone had his feet on the ropes. I didn't see anything, Jason. As we look one more time, tried the roll up, did Hill. Stone puts a roll up of his own and has his feet on the bottom ropes gets the assisted victory. I can't believe that, but nonetheless, Stone finally gets a victory over Tyler Hill. And with that, we will take a quick break and be back with more 365 Pro Wrestling on Rogers TV. You know what, we come here for a lot of reasons, but tonight it's to beat people up. Isn't that right, Tex? That's right, Corey. CJ Graham, Sammy Sierra, all your lives, you want to be professional wrestlers. Well, you got your chance now, but you've been messing with our business, messing with Tex Lex's business, pouring beer on the head of Super K, messing with Joey Allen. Well, tonight, we're gonna make sure 
that Joey Allen and Super K turned that dream into a nightmare. Joey Allen, you crushed my head on my debut about a year ago. Now you're aligning yourself with Tex Lexus, Super K, man, who really has some troubled history with my buddy CJ Graham here. They just pulled out of the crowd, but I think he's got some more to say about that than me. Super K, don't think I forgot about the time that you poured beer on my head. That is exactly why I poured beer on yours. And that time I dove in the ring, tried to defend myself, and you hit me with that steel chair multiple times, I didn't forget. So tonight, myself and Sammy Sierra, we're gonna get the justice that we deserve. <laughs> A sharp dressed man here at the Red Chevron Club. What is this, 
more deadly units. You may not like what Corey Spain and Tech Sutton have to say, but this is a very well equipped team and unit that mixes speed and power to the highest of the levels. That would have to everything fun. And look at Corey Spain. Hey, oh. That smells of rich mahogany. Well, you know what, Corey? We haven't said anything disparaging here that hasn't needed to be said. Anything but Corey Spade is a beautiful man. Look at that turtleneck. It's bad. It's almost, it's almost summer. The man is dressed like a Bond villain, but fashion quips aside, he is one of the more smart and intelligent minds here on 365, and he always finds talent, and of course, in his matches with his men, he and he's finds his way in these matches. And he's found an alliance with one Tex Lexus. Between Lexus and Spade, their minds with Joey Allen and Super K, I said it before and I'll say it again, does Code Blue and Sammy Sierra even bother showing up here tonight? Well, it is a deadly alliance, it's deadly duo, both in and out of the ring here for this unit. And we'll see what this up and coming team here of Sammy Sierra and Code Blue can do. I should mention Joey Allen. There is nothing disgusting about what we are seeing in the ring, Jason. You're just jealous that you wish you had a suit like Tex Lexus. The two men together with a combined clothes worth of $200, max. You know they got those at flea markets. Do you have the receipts? I, you can just tell by the cut of their jibs. And these aren't at as highly fashionable people as they think they are. The drooling around Tex Lexus's neck alone is worth $10,000. Maybe knock a couple zeros of it? Sure. The bedazzling of the hat. And I want you to think about this too. This is a reunion of sorts with Joey Allen and Corey Spade. The last time Corey Spade was in Joey Allen's corner, Joey Allen had all the gold. That he did. But the tone has changed here to one of sour to excitement as making their way to the ring here are Sammy Sierra and Code Blue. And how about the arrogance here, just making them wait in the ring? Well, they're taking their time. They, they know this is an experienced group, but here they come to a thunderous ovation. Sammy Sierra, Code Blue. Code Blue with the blue steel in his hand of a steel chair. As we mentioned before, this is a rivalry that keeps getting hotter and hotter as the months go on in 365 Pro Wrestling. CJ Graham has only had one professional wrestling match. Yes, he may have won it, but now he's got to go up against the big boys here. I don't think Sammy Sierra is going to be able to save him this time. Well, they are getting this crowd at the Red Chevron fired up to a frenzy that I haven't seen in my many times here at the Red Chevron. Well, watch what happens after this match when these fans turn on CJ Graham and Sammy Sierra. Fickle, now, these, absolutely these, fickle. These fans know quality when they see it, and they are all behind Sammy Sierra and Code Blue. And Sierra enters the ring, Code Blue up on the apron. And just listen to that ovation. These two young up-and-comers want to make a statement. What better way than to take down Corey Spade and Tex Lexus's deadly duo of Joey Allen and Super K. Pink's better than blue, folks. Real men wear pink. right back to where he came from, where he found his success with Corey Spade by his side.
This is just brilliant veteran Introducing first, maneuvering being accompanied on to the, the outside ring of the ring by, by Joey Allen. Corey Spade, the team of product of German well engineering, Joey Allen, and where Super he did get his start. Sierra and Code Blue. As the Royal City Chants come on, that is, of course, one of the nicknames Guelph, Ontario is known as. The real royalties across the ring, Jason. Joey Allen, Super Kamikaze, ready to deliver the hurt here in this tag team battle. We saw earlier, I mean, are you on? Did you see our interview earlier I on? I just alluded to it. You He's definitely on some form of payroll. You saw the money he put in my pocket. Thing, or is this going to continue? I, I am not going to speak further about my association with Tex Lexus. All I'm going to say is that man has a lot of money, and I'm not afraid to spend it. How much money? That's to be debated. Maybe next month he'll pay you in food stamps. Who knows? But not the story we're focused on right now. We're focused on this tag team matchup as Sammy Sierra will lock up here with Super Tank. And the thing about Tex Lexus and Corey Spade and this duo, I mentioned it before, a perfect combination of speed, agility, and power. The X factors outside of the ring are going to be those X factors in this match. Here we go. Match is underway and the experience in from Super K, but nice head scissor from Sierra. And then he has a headlock takeover. But then right back, the exact same treatment Sierra gave Super K, Super K gives Sierra. What an open hand slap from Super K. That was the full Will Smith. Hammerlock put on. Nice nip up from Sierra. And he just rocks him down. Chris rocks him down. Big shot from Super K. And a forearm shot right to Code Blue. Ducks him off the apron. And this is where that experience is going to be a big factor. Double team tag. The inexperience that Code Blue trying to get to his partner is end up, ending up hurting his team. Tag team specialist, Jason. That is what their bread and butter is. And a two count. They might be great as singles competitors, but when you put these two brains together, oh, they can be deadly. Well, Super K and Joey Ryan, they are a deadly duo. We've seen the track record they've been able to put together through 365, but you have that, I'll put it loosely, that financial backing of Tex Lexus and Corey Spade. That's a different motivator as well for those two gentlemen. Nice leapfrog through. Float over! Monkey flips and Super K to the ropes! And a right hand from Code Blue, drop kick from Sierra, and Super K is on the mat. What a cheap shot from CJ Graham. I believe that was a receipt he gave towards one Super K. And Super K trying to adjust the kick pads, and a tag has been made. Here comes Code Blue, and Super K wisely will roll out to the floor, and they'll get Super K some water and a much needed timeout here for the Spade Lexus duo. This is what you pay Tex Lexus and Corey Spade for to be able to go outside of the ring, have a pep talk figure out what you need to do next. And as well, they are taking their time and they're making Code Blue have to wait for this. You can just see how much energy and anticipation he has. He just can't wait to get his hands on both Super K and Joey Allen. Well, CJ Graham and Sammy Sierra had to make the four of them wait 
as they entered this building. Super K continues to take this 20 count here, Mark. And that's where the 20 counts an advantage as well. This, you're gonna take all that 20 to get your mind straight. Sierra waiting in, has now finally Super K decides he wants to come back in, but he gets set right over the top rope. Tag has been made. Here comes Code Blue, but Sling shots himself back in, does Super K. Great strength of the upper body from Super K. But Super K didn't realize there was a tag made, and uh, oh no. That's not the man he wanted to be in the squared circle in one Code Blue. here in Guelph get behind one code blue. Oh, look at Super K trying to get himself out of this situation. Backing off. I mean, this is just good sportsmanship from Super K. Showing the young man with one Whoa. match under his belt. Wait just a minute. That did not work. But Super K wisely fell into his corner and makes the tag to Joey Allen. Sierra gets run over by Allen, and that's a strategy that's not going to work. Big shoulder tackle again from Allen. Allen, big back elbow. And the Allen train is off the tracks as he's starting to derail Sammy Sierra. An absolute machine is Joey Allen. Beautiful gut wrench suplex by Allen, and it's good enough for a count of two. Sierra kicks out. This is a huge discrepancy in the ring with Allen outweighing Sierra by, I'd say around 80 to 100 pounds. And Sammy Sierra not fighting in the right weight class here as Joey Allen just puts the stomps to him. And Sierra finds himself in the tree of woe right now. Allen taking his time. As well, letting the blood rush to the head here of Sammy Sierra. And now Allen once again implementing that strength. Tag has been made. So some double team tactics coming in. Shoulder breaker. Slingshot drop kick from Super K, and that was on target. Two and no. Sierra kicks out. What an alliance with Joey Allen and Super K. The double teams. Again, it just shows where these two come from. Well, it shows as well they're experiencing the ability to put those great double team moves together. Something that Sierra and Code Blue, they really don't have. There's only a few handful of matches under their belt. And I believe they're first time tagging together. And most importantly here, Jason, is they're isolating Sammy Sierra away from the corner of CJ uh, CJ Gray. Super K. Super K is one of the more agile men here at 365. Wait just a Cold minute. Blue. And oh no! Super K got wiped out with the big forearm smash from Kofu Sierra now. He's going to the top floor. What's Sierra gonna do? Sierra! And he went for a front flip, but nobody was in the pool. Super K gets out of the way. More of a back flop on the swanton from Sammy Sierra, and he is in a world of hurt here. Tag in, and here comes Joey Ryan. And once again, Super K and Joey, excuse me, Joey Allen, cutting off the ring. Very smart tag team wrestling. Allen takes a chop here, but that's a bad chop Sierra doesn't want to play. You don't want to go chop for chop with one Joey Allen. There's a lot of muscle and a lot of power. A lot of good upper body strength from Joey Allen. And now, good front face lock being put on. Sierra, that's a lot of weight, a lot of power. Sierra's got to carry not only his, but Allen's massive frame. But Allen does find a way. What a jawbreaker! Jawbreaker from Sierra! That may be the break this team of Code Blue and Sierra need. Really has Jason. How much 
does he have left? Front chancery now into a vertical suplex, and that was nicely executed by Allen. Two and new. Sierra is able to kick out. Hey, hey, that's, that is the singlet strap around the throat of Sierra. The official needs to get a stop on that. What is he doing? Sierra in a world of trouble thanks to some dirty tactics from Super Tank. And that is part of his own body, Jason. I don't see anything wrong with that. The singlet is part of his body? The singlet is part of his body. He's growing straps. Well, his traps continue to get bigger and bigger, so maybe some form of that. But here, double team work again. Double suplex. And they absolutely plant Sierra. Lower back first onto the mat. One, two, and new. One more time. Sierra has to fight out of this. And look at this great tags. You may not like Super K and Joey Allen and their connection with Tech Lexus and Corey Spade, but they are great tag team wrestlers. That's tag team wrestling 101. Get the quick tags in and work over one man. And a cheap shot once again to Code Blue on the apron from Allen. That's just a receipt from Code Blue for that shot he delivered on Super K on the top rope a few moments ago. Good belly to belly. Belly to back suplex there that time from Allen. What a bitch pack race. More, maybe not the most effective, but does hurt moves in the repertoire here of Joey Allen. Big forearm smash. Allen, scoop and Sierra slides out. Sierra, forearm shot. Just days out. The drop kick puts Allen down. And Sierra, he has taken a ton of punishment, but can he with feel the energy from these fans at the red shirt want to make the tag? Super K, Blue ducks the close one, shoulder tackle on the Super K. Super K is in a world of trouble. Super K up on the shoulders, K slides off, and nice leaping Enziguri to the back of the head there of Code Blue. Really just taking the breath out of this crowd. Good job by Super K. Super K cut off that momentum man very quickly, which is what the veteran team wanted and needed. And look at Kickoff from Blue, rolled through by K. Picked up on the shoulders, is it power slam? Time it is! Big power slam from Blue, one, two, and Allen though comes in to break that up. Allen wisely made the save, or his partner Super K may have been seeing the lights for a three count. Now Blue gets set to the floor. Here comes Sierra in, but that didn't work out. Look at the strength here from Allen. That is just pure strength. Just raw power. Raw power from Joey Allen. Oh, wait just a minute. Here comes Super K back drum, and he wipes out Code Blue. What teamwork put on here by Allen and Super K, but Sierra's up. Drop kick to Allen. Allen, he'll hit the deck. A sea of humanity right down by the hard camera. Sierra Springboard Tope. Oh my goodness, Mark. What action at the Red Chevron. Bodies flying everywhere. This is 365 Pro Wrestling at its best. What action. And now the youngster Sierra is trying to follow up on it. I don't agree with some of the language from these fans, but I totally agree. What a match we are seeing here tonight. What, a, what an effort here from Sierra and Code Blue.
just throwing everything, including the kitchen sink, at this veteran team of Joey Allen and Super K. But good presence of mind there from Super K. As he dropped toe holds, Code Blue into the rope. But a tag was made. Super K is the word. Super K will have to eat Special K through a straw after that one. Sierra, is he going back to the top floor? Yes, he is. But Allen, Joey Allen, get him out of there. Joey Allen, what's going to happen here now? Double team from the Lexus Spade duo. Well, oh, this, this is not looking good here for Sammy Sierra. Sierra, is this a double superplex? No. Code Blue's in. The power and the ability of Code Blue, CJ Graham, with the presence of mind to deliver a double power bomb as part of that Tower of Doom. Has that doomed Super K and Joy? Corey Spade off the apron. Spade, though, he gets run into, though, but Sierra, now Super K. 619. More like a 519. There's a huge super kick. Right on the button. Super kick from Super K. And he plants Sierra. One, two, three. Oh, that's. Veteran presence eventually won out, but once again, you mentioned it off the top. The presence of Lexus and Spade would be a factor, and they were. B X factors in this match. What a match, what an effort from Sammy Sierra and CJ Graham. I said before the matchup, why bother even coming out here with the quartet that they saw in the ring? They put up a valiant effort, but in the end, it is Joey Allen and Super K standing strong here with Corey Spade and Tex Lexus. And what, we're not done. Chair shot to the back from Super K on Sierra. This has just turned into a melee. Joey Allen wipes out Code Blue and Corey Smith getting in on this. I mean, he bumped into him earlier. What Good is on this? him. Why? You won the match. And just a third repeated chair shot to the back of Sarah. <laughs> Make that four. This doesn't, you're trying to take these youngsters out of the business. For the record, CJ Graham's the one that brought out that steel chair. He introduced the weapons, they're just using them. Oh look, it's the crusher. The squeeze, the, he's putting the squeeze. The cranium crush, cranium crush from Joey Allen. Just absolutely devastating the cranium. Look, look at just Chico, a it's Chico. That's Lenny Lila, no, Jason. No, it's Chico. Chico, right hand, left hand. And he's just going to work on Joey Allen. Big elbow, flip flop and fly from Chico. Splash from Chico. He's not even supposed to be here, Jason. What is this? He's allowed to be here. He's contracted. Someone find me Cam Guthrie's number. He needs to be out of 12. Well, Joey Allen gets cleared out of here before more damage can be put on him. But thank goodness Chico was here as this Tex Lexus Corey Spade duo of Joey Allen and Super K. They're trying to put Sammy Sierra and Code Blue out of the business. Why is Lenny Lilac here? It's not Lenny Lilac, it's Chico. Lenny Lilac retires. Show me the show me the contract, Jason. We have the footage. This is Chico. A very stylish man in his own right. And thank goodness for him. As he saves the day. Saves Sammy Sierra and Code Blue. What is this madness? Just anarchy at 365 Pro Wrestling. And I'm not talking about what we saw earlier from Super K and Joey Allen. Someone get Lenny Lilac out of here. It's not Lenny Lilac, it's Chico. And Chico is the man right now. As he is waving his shirt, he's getting the crowd at the red shit run. Even 
more pumped up. Absolutely fickle fans. They witnessed Lenny Lilac lose and have to exit wealth forever. And they are just allowing this anarchy to happen. They're into it. They're happy to see their hero right now, Chico, make the big save. And Chico will get a great reaction from these fans at the Red Chevron. But that will take us to break. We will be back with more 365 Pro Wrestling action right here on Rogers TV. Absolutely ridiculous. Joining me now at this time, getting set for a big matchup here tonight, John Atlas. John, what's your mindset whoa, going whoa, in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Start fresh again. How did you address me? Your name, John Atlas? No, 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 that's incorrect. You address me as the great one, John Atlas. Go ahead. Right. Joining me now at this time, the great one, John Atlas. And John, what is your mindset going into tonight's matchup? You know, the delivery just wasn't there. I'm not feeling it, so why don't you just Get on out of my shot, all right? The great one. The last time I was here, I beat Daddy Davis up and down Guelph Street. I walked away victorious. There was nothing he could do. Daddy, you're done, and I'm on to championship gold. Whoa, 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 Daddy's done? You didn't beat me, I beat you. One, two, three. And Guelph Street, there is no Guelph Street. What? I, I beat you no, last time no, we were. No, no, don't interrupt, Daddy. Daddy's talking. I beat you. You. One, two, three. This is it. This is ridiculous. I can't. and is scheduled for one fall with a 60 minute time limit. Well, here we go. It is main event time here at 365 Pro Wrestling. You see the great one, John Atlas, set to try to take the global championship away from Easy e Eric Harrell. And I'm so glad you watched our interview earlier on tonight with the great one, John Atlas. I made a mistake. I just called him John Atlas. But you know what? He corrected me. I will take that. That was on me. The great one, John Atlas, and he is ready to catch the global championship here tonight. Well, it wasn't a great interview for you, Mark, but John Atlas, though, he had a great opportunity, saw it, and chose to really put himself in this spot to take on Easy e Eric Carity for the global championship. If you don't ask for the opportunity, the answer's always going to be no. John Atlas takes what he wants. And as well, we have to remember, we saw Easy Eric Carity earlier on have an elimination triple threat match for the Grand Championship. He was able to retain that title, but how much has been taken out of him, Mark, though? And now he's got to work against, a, or go up against a fresh John Atlas. That is the big question here, Jason. How much energy does Easy e Eric Carney have left in him to defend the Global Championship? And this is why 365 Pro Wrestling made this rule, where if you have two championships, you should relinquish the other championship, the Grand Championship, around the shoulder of Easy e Eric Carney. You want to concentrate on being the global champion. That is the most prestigious belt in this promotion. And that is the one they want Easy e Eric Carney to focus on. But oh no, he wants to defy the odds. He wants to defy management. 
management and go for a twofer here tonight. Is it going to cost him? I think if you follow easy Eric Karnick, he does things his own way. And that has been the trend tonight. Supposed to relinquish the grand championship, decided to defend it. Was able to be a successful title defense. Will he have a successful global championship title defense here against the great one, John Adams? this off early as you mentioned Jason advantage John Atlas when it comes to the energy factor after fighting in that one match earlier on tonight you want to try and finish it early if you're easy e Eric Kearney and once again Kearney just throws Atlas face first onto that ring apron Atlas oh this is not looking good for the great one. Pick up for a pile driver, no, too much size. Atlas blocks. Atlas back body drops, Kearney lower back, right on the hardest part of the ring. You know, there have been many football players that have later found success in the professional wrestling industry. Atlas wants to become 
the next one in that regard. He's already the great one, and I say the only great one in this industry. Well, right now, he's putting a good game plan together. He's going to work on the lower back, and he'll do it one more time as he runs Kearney right into the ring post. He's now got a target to work after, does John Atlas, and that's a smart strategy. He may be cocky, he may be brash, but you can't deny the athletic ability of one, the great one, John Atlas. He survives and thrives, does John Atlas. And he knows that he can't win the title outside of the ring, so he does the smart thing and brings Easy e back in the ring. And once again, Atlas goes to work on the lower back here of Eric Kearney. Just putting the boots to him, some elbows. And we'll put a knee right into that lower back. And that's, those are just so devastating. Taking all the air as well out from Kearney. Plus the effects of having a match as Atlas went for a pinning attempt to count a one. And now some of that frustration goes in with good right hands onto Kearney. So brash, so cocky is John Atlas. And he's got to focus on Easy E here. Cannot turn his back on him. Good forearm shots here from Atlas. Atlas, he'll send Kearney up off the ropes. Big clothesline from Atlas. I think right now Kearney may need an Atlas to find his way to get back into this matchup. up backbreaker and he just continues to inflict the pain on the back and keeps moving up from where he wants to work on starting with the small of the back the lower back now goes to the small of the back small moves lead to big things wow, that was a very lazy cover there from john atlas though he's just toying with him that may be show, but anytime he's got a chance to put away someone of the caliber of Easy Eric Kearney, you try to find a way to do it. Playing with his food, maybe, is John Atlas. Atlas sends Kearney into the buck goal, but Kearney meets him with a big boot. Kearney now perched up on that top turnbuckle. What's Kearney gonna do? The back was just too hurt, couldn't focus, and he gets wiped out tripped off the second turnbuckle on the inside by Atlas. And what a move there. Well, once again, just shows the IQ that Atlas has. He may be brash, a little conceited. He's very smart inside that squared circle. He's been around a long time, just an athlete all of his life, John Atlas, the great one, as he continues to put the boots to the champion on the throat there of Easy e Eric Kearney, the global champion. As Atlas just taking his time slowly and methodically going to work on Kearney. Kearney sent in, Kearney floats over, caught on the shoulders here of Atlas. Kearney escapes and it's a lung blower from Kearney right to the back this time on the great one, John Atlas. And that was a great desperation move there from Tyranny. Desperate moves from desperate men. Did you know that greed is one of the seven deadly sins? A greedy man is Easy E. Eric Tyranny as he tries to hold on to all the gold. Just good presence of mind there on the replays. You see from Carey to escape, slide out the back door and land that lung blower onto the back of Atlas, but that took a lot out of Kearney right now, and he hasn't had the ability to follow up. But both men's backs are just in agony. Right hand, swing and a miss again from Atlas. Right hand lands from Kearney. Right lands forearm shots this time from Kearney, and Kearney's starting to get back in this matchup. Irish rip reverse. Shoulder for or forearm shot, I should say, with a kip up. Drop kick from Kearney. Feeling it, ducks the clothesline from Atlas. 
Atlas. Go behind, back elbow though, lands from Atlas. Atlas, Irish rip reversed. Here comes Atlas, he gets a stop with the momentum, sends in. Kearney with a beautiful German suplex, but Kearney just eats it, roaring forearm. Roaring elbow from Kearney in a big splash as well. Step up in Zaguri from Kearney, finally puts Atlas down. What a sequence of moves here from Kearney. Kearney with a big knee into the corner. Kearney feeling it right now on two and no, can't put away John Atlas. Again, the longer this match goes, the more it turns the tide toward John Atlas. John Atlas, the great one, getting back to his feet immediately. How much energy does Eric Kearney have left in him from that other match? Well, we don't know, but he's gonna have to go into those reserve tanks. Says there's a big boot from the great one, John Atlas. Atlas sends in and a big spine buster from Atlas. This could be it. Two and no. How did Kearney kick out? But Atlas, he'll go right back to work on Kearney. Scoop, sit out, power bomb. Look at the bounce. Two and no. Kearney kicks out. And I don't know how he kicked out of that one, Mark. I don't know either. You know, last month we talked about it, the Grand Championship, when Easy e Eric Kearney captured his second piece of gold in 365 Pro Wrestling. He went through an absolute war, so we know that he can take a whole ton of punishment, but something's gotta give. Look at the bounce on that. Well, it was an authoritative sit-out powerbomb from the great one, John Atlas, and somehow Kearney was able to get the shoulder up. That was a, I need to go home with some gold, with authority. John Atlas, the great one, just putting the hurt. Well, if Atlas keeps this up, he will be walking out of the red chevron with some gold around his waist. And now just puts the knee right to the back of the neck of Kearney, choking him on the rope. Here's Atlas. Once again, sets Kearney up. Kearney shot in, ducks the clothesline, does Kearney. Tilt a whirl, head scissors, take over to an arm bar. No, wait just a minute. This is the Border City stretch, Jason. Border City stretch put on from Kearney. As Atlas trying to fight his way to the ropes, use the, get a rope break with his legs. And just using that upper body strength, that power from Atlas, can he reach the rope? Yes, he can. That was a desperate move there from the champion. The ability to get the Border City stretch in from Easy Eric Kearney. He has been able to put many of foes away with that move, with that submission. But good on John Atlas, the bigger of the two men, to be able to get to that rope quickly before the pain really started setting in. Good presence of mind, able to find the rope, get the rope break. But now Atlas, a little bit shaken up, super kick lands square on the jaw of Atlas from Kearney. Shining Wizard! Shining Wizard from Kearney! Will this be it to retain the title? One, two, and no! How? How does Atlas kick out this time? That was a Shining Wizard square to the back of Atlas's head. I think this was just out of instinct. What a Shining Wizard from the champion. Delivered right on the button, right to the back of the head of the great one. Able to roll him over rather quickly, too. Could have been a flash knockout situation where Car or Atlas woke up just as he heard the two count. And able to kick out with his instincts kicking in. Kearney trying to go to the top rope. Kearney taking his time. Kearney splash, but misses. Atlas gets out of the way. Atlas senses this could be his chance. Atlas spear! Slow count from the official. John Atlas knew it immediately. Well, it was a spear in pro wrestling, a tackle in football, and we've talked about the credentials. He's won Vanier's Grey Cups with those types of tackles, and he was just seconds away from becoming the 365 Pro Wrestling Global Champion. A four-time All-Canadian. 
John Atlas has been able to win gold from everywhere with moves like that spear. Now just talking trash. Oh, I'm trying to add insult to injury right now. I don't think this is very wise here from the man called the Great One. There's a reason why he's called the Great One, Jason. Super kick. Atlas was aware of it. Atlas roll up. One, two, and Kearney kicks out. Super kick. No. Kearney block. Roll up attempt from Kearney. Two and three. He got him. He got him. Kearney retains. Kearney outthought Atlas. He beat Atlas with Atlas's move. Did he get the shoulder up? I don't think he did. We got to take a look at this, folks. John Atlas is beside himself. So here's the roll up from Atlas. That's a two count, definite two count. Atlas tries to super kick. Kearney with the roll up. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a definite three count. And a successful night at the office here from Easy E, Eric Kearney. Two matches, two wins. And again, John Atlas standing in the ring. The great one with not such a great night as Easy E Eric Kearney walks away with not only the grand championship, but as a result of this matchup, still the 365 Pro Wrestling Global Champion. Well, Easy E Eric Kearney, he walked into the red Chevron with two sets of gold around his waist, and he will leave the red Chevron with those same gold all around his waist. Still, 365 Pro Wrestling Grand Champion, 365 Global Champion, Easy E Eric Kearney. But what, what, is, what is management going to say, Jason, after a night like this? He still has both championships. They have been adamant since the beginning of this promotion that they do not like seeing double champions, especially when one of those pieces of gold is the global championship, the most prestigious belt in this promotion. What are they going to have to say to Easy e Eric Kearney from this defiance? They are definitely going to have some serious discussion. Is 365 management as Eric Kearney still has two sets of gold around his waist. But that is a decision that will have to come next month. And that is when we will see you next month here at the Red Chevron. So for my broadcast partner, Mark Perry, I'm Jason Hagholm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time for 365 Pro Wrestling on Rogers TV.